Alright, welcome back to my Let's Play of Gene Forge 2. You're my channel, Idle Wisdom. We're here again in Medab, as we have been, as I've said so many times. <laughs> Last episode, we went to the Bandit Marsh, and there was a big, big fight against a lot of servile bandits. We were successful, though, so that was good. And Lucian and Xander and company were able to defeat the bandits, and... They were also able to defeat some ghosts. And let me think, what else? I don't know, open up a, a couple new areas. The Warren of the Three, which is an ominous sounding place. And then one other place that I can't remember what it's called. So let's go check it out. Lucian got a level and was able to get more intelligence, so he has 15 intelligence right now, which is pretty good. No, four. Oh my goodness, I can almost read. 14 intelligence. And you look, the cost to raise intelligence is now 8. Wow. It's starting to get pretty expensive. But, yeah, let's go. Alright, cool. Yes, yeah, so there's the Warner 3. This is where we cleared out the Bandit Marsh. We also have the Western Marsh now, which can be accessed from Fort Muck. Or from the Bandit Marsh. I think we'll be able to go to Fort Muck this way, right here. And let's see what the Western Marsh is this time. And then maybe next time we'll go to the, the Warren of the Three. I think it's a Bandit hideout. Okay, you are at the edge of a large patch of fen. This is the westernmost extent of the swamps filling this area. To the west, you can see woods. Beyond, mountains rise to the tr above the trees. There are been a lot of battles and skirmishes along the ruins of this road. All around you, you can see debris, bones, and broken weapons sinking slowly into the mire. In the distance, you can see large rogue creations abandoned, wandering around looking for food. Rogues can be very unpredictable. They might hesitate to attack a shaper, but if you get too close, they can change their minds. Alrighty. Oh, jeez. Are you going to attack... Let's have a chance. Okay, yes, I was right. Oh, jeez, wow. That battle also about killed Pincher. Oh, yeah, that's right. We need the, the claw bugs. <laughs> Pincher, Stinger, and Snapper, I think. <laughs> uh. Alright, let's heal him back up. Come on, y'all. I don't think we're ready for this place. No, we're not. Most definitely not. Oh. Oh, wait. It, it didn't take. Oh, jerks. No, that's not major healing sports. Let's do. Okay. It robbed me again. I cast a spell, but it was in the middle of activating battle, so it didn't take. There we are. All right, that's better. Well done, Xander. Excellent. Well, that was um, kind of that was terrible <laughs> use of all of Lucian's energy and a good deal of his essence as well. Hmm. All right, Frostfang, be careful. It's just all right. What did he drop? A chainmail vest. Let's see, what's the stats on that? Armor plus 12, plus 20% stun resistance. It's 12.5 pounds as opposed to the chitin vest. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, wait, this is the crystal woven chitin. No, this is way better. Because it gives no penalties and it gives us also one plus one to spellcraft that's right we have a pretty good piece of armor for a magically inclined character like a oh my goodness oh some rats what are these swamp rats yep you missed Eat that. Come on. What are you? Um. 
<laughs> Snapper just went crazy. <laughs> we got 20 experience per rat. That's still pretty good. Alrighty. Let's see what's down here. Probably more battle alphas and rats. Lost. Okay. Is he friendly? Hello. Lost alpha. There's a lost battle alpha here. A massive creature looks at you sadly. It doesn't look like it's gone rogue yet, but whoever made it definitely abandoned it. It bows its head. Shaper, I made and lost. I lost. Well, who created you? I made by Drake and Zosos. This surprises you. How could a creation make a creation? That seems impossible. Then again, you know, we know serviles, we're traveling with serviles that use magic, and that was supposed to be impossible. I made, given orders, brought here, got lost. What are your orders? I fight creatures from Madab. I don't know how to tell Madab things, though. All serviles look alike to me. <laughs> Xander's like, hmm, stupid alpha. How'd you get lost? Big fight, and Serva who ordered me around was killed. I chase things and lose them. Then don't know what to do. Got no orders. Battle alphas are made to need orders before they go anywhere. That explains why this powerful creature has just been standing around here. How have you not gone rogue? I hear calls. I hear words of them who want me to forget orders, forget masters. Whispers telling me always kill, kill. But I fight in mind and stay here. It's a you uh, rather interesting alpha. What is in these swamps? I do not know, Shaper. Some things good, some bad. I cannot tell what. You should not be loose like this. Destroy it. No, he's not going to do that. Let's see. We tell him to stay here or say, you should come help me clear this area of rogues. The alpha is confused. You keep talking to it calmly and with strong exertion of will, get it to think it should be taking orders from you. My orders stay in swamp and fight. That I do. I must follow that order, but when I fight, I fight for you, good, kind shaper. Alrighty. We have a temporary ally. Come on, dude. Alrighty. We have a, an escort in these swamps. That is actually quite cool. I serve. Poor guy. His handler got killed. And now he's lost. To the east, you can see several battle alphas. Not only do they look rogue, but you suspect that they have gone completely savage. This is a bad sign. Battle alphas are created with a simple, cunning intelligence that helps them to be very effective on the battlefield. However, there is a downside to this. When they go rogue, they tend to go completely mad. These mad battle alphas should, would probably attack absolutely anything that came near them. Okay, um, y'all don't want to stop. Let's save right quick. Right quick. Right, right. Quick, quick. Right quick. Uh oh. Um, you there. Battle alphas. You are not allowed to be rogue. You see there? Rascals. Ow. No. Who, who's punching? Oh, it was uh, Xander. Okay. Well, I'm glad I hit, hit protect. Jeez. Let's heal Xander. That is six. Yes. Yep, there's a bunch of them. Hmm. You just go right here. Chill. You come right here, chill. You come right here, chill. You come right here, chill. Oh, you missed, dude. Gnarled Alpha. Huh. Good job. Charge! Oh, you missed. Oh, you missed. You missed. Oh my goodness, you guys stink. Here, come forward a little bit. Good shot. Good. Well, that, oh no. Here, 
go right here and let's heal. There we are. Good, good, good. Uh, can't get to him, can you? Good shot. That was a good hit. Good job. Great work. Got him. <laughs> a little late there, dude. Oh well. Whatever. <laughs> Let's save. Alright, let's see what we got. Acid thorns, we'll pick those up. Sell them. Ooh, some gemstones. A spray crystal. What? On the ground we have some chitin armor and a mica band. Really good for acid resistance. So let's get it. Alrighty. Not bad. No, we did pretty well. Good, kind Shaper. It's interesting that he knows to call Lucian a Shaper, even though he's created by a Drake in Zasas. That's a Taker. Interesting. I don't know if that makes any sense, but you know, whatever. Uh-oh. Warrior Serviles. Are these... Bandits, or maybe... <laughs> no! What? Oh, jeez. Warrior Servile. A Servile advances on you, sword out and ready to kill. In its eyes, you see no respect for Shapers and no fear, just pure hatred. Time to die, Shaper. Die in the name of Takers. Vengeance! I'm allied with the Takers. Now, if you were allied with the Takers, want to join the Takers or be friendly with the Takers or even deceive the Takers, you can tell them this and they'll say, okay. But, um... What proof do you have? And if you have that 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 sign, that insignia dealie, from that taker over there by Bellic's Crossing, he wanted you to kill that um, Madab patrol captain. And if you do that for him, he'll give you, he'll tell you where to get the, uh, you know, a taker friendly take, you know, uh, an insignia, so that you'll know, show that the taker show the takers that you're a friend. You can. Tell them, show them, t and they'll be like, oh, okay, well then, um, yeah, go on ahead. But, you know, well, we'll just tell them, back off, survive, I'll destroy you. The creature's beyond fear. And it doesn't pause for a moment. Nope. Oh, oh, but we have a battle alpha, though, dude. You might be, um, <laughs> in trouble. Go, Frostfang. Let's, um, mass energize, yeah. Let's actually um, start attacking these ones, too. Oh, come on, y'all. Ah. Mass Energize always gives them more hit point, uh, movement points. Action points? Yes, action points. The next round. Oh, jeez. That was lame. Oh, wow. Xander's punching. Good job, Xander. Ouch. Ew. Oh. Oh, jeez. Wow. Those dudes are really powerful. My goodness. <laughs> Jeez. Dozois? Dozois? Dozois. Wow, he's a powerful one. He, he. I'm not going to say it because I know that they're not its. Hmm. Let's see. Good. Lucid's magic is pretty powerful, I, I must say. I must say indeed. Come on, dude. Good job, we got him. We got the I probably the leader. I'm on the leader. Here. Cryo Oh, we haven't named this Cryo. Oh I think we We had what deadly 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 something or other, like deadly ice or deadly frost. And it got killed. Oh, oh. Oh, wow, that taker just got <laughs> nailed. Jeez. All right. Let's see. Is this Xander? Yes, that's Xander. All righty. 
So I think we are now up here. Servile caster. Let's see the caster. Hmm. Let's do group heal. And. Oh, you missed! Ah! Come on, y'all! This is lame! Oh, wrong. Ow! Hey, heart! Oh, there went our freaking claw bug. I heard a foghorn in the distance. Um, uh, let's see. <laughs> Never mind, that's <laughs> neither here nor there. Alright. Lucy, and get your butt back here. And let's do burning spray. Yes, good job. The burning spray got him. That's right. Good job, dude. Our, our pal here took care of business on that. <laughs> Funny thing, or ironic thing, is these servals are probably the, you know, the comrades of the of this Battle Alpha's, you know, tender, or minder, or whatever you want to call them. Oh, jeez, wow, that poison, though. Alrighty. Well, man, that was a nasty battle. What we get? We got a little bit of money. We got a venom baton, a bronze sword, a null wand. Let's take the null wand. We'll sell it. Some boots. Yeah, big deal. We got some more money, some healing spores, and some curing spores. Very good. Alrighty, there's more money down here. Oh yeah, a lot more money. Sandals, sandals, sword, robe, dagger, big deal. There's more money down here. Yep, alrighty. You know what, I think I serve. We should probably go back to town and recharge because we are, um, <laughs> we are out of claw bugs, and I don't have enough energy, or what's his face? Lucian does not have enough energy. Let's pick up this chainmail. We'll sell it. All right. We'll see you again when we get back. He'll be, he's going to stay here, though. Let's go here, then here. That alpha won't leave the swamps. Now, there, if you want to... You know, I mean, obviously, you can create battle alphas if you want a battle alpha. But if you want a, like a rando, you know, alpha that you can adopt, there is one later in the game on the southwest side of the map. Kind of a cool deal you can... I think his name is Hrick. <laughs> Very reasonable. Let's see, Acid Thorn. So, yeah. Null Wand, so. Armor, so. Oh, yeah, we have some jewels, but we'll sell those to Hawk. Alright, cool. Excellent. Now. Oh, we have some, the Ring of the Eye and the Mica Band. That's right. Let's equip the Two Fang Bracelet. Let's make some claw, bu claw bugs. Claw bug. Claw bug. Alrighty, we have 141 essence left. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I don't know. Let's name this guy what? Uh, let's 
Hmm. We'll name him. Let me see. We have Frost Fang. No, no, no. That's Frost Fang. We're not renaming Frost Fang, you idiot. It's Cryoa. We'll call him Azure. Not a good name, but Azure Freeze. Azure for short. And you. Let's say. Pinchy. Snappy. Wilbur. All right. Good job, Wilbur. Let's go. <laughs> Wilbur. <laughs> Ugh. Pinchy, Snappy, and Wilbur. Oh, crap. I got to remember to equip my... Let's go to the Western Marsh again. Let us equip our gloves. The Carnelian gloves. Let's go back here and pick up our our pal. The Lost Alpha. Hey, buddy. How's it going? I lost. Here, let's... Yep, yep, yep. Good kind shaper. I kill the bad. That's right, pal. You kill the bad. Let's get back up here. There's some bad that need killing. Oh, that's right. I was going to do that thing where I... Let's see. Let's do this on Lucian. Essence Shield. And then on Xander. There we are. Let's go. Into the woods. The dense forest. What is in here? Uh oh, what's this? Huh. I serve. Thorns ain't a big deal. Nope. Nothing there. Looks like we found another way out. Interesting. We won't go out quite yet, because that'll do away with our essence shield. <clears throat> Pardon me. Let's see what's down here. Uh-oh. Another hostile servile. A servile bandit. Oh, wow. I don't think this is a taker. Job, Xander. Oh, wow. Dude, got him. Oh, there's another one. Hmm. Let's actually, um... No. Let's do protection. Cool. Good. Oh, good job. Wow. Go around the corner. It's any. Oh, yep, there's some more. Let's go. I don't know if these bandits are going to be as powerful as those takers, but you never know. You never know. Alrighty, come on. Let's go, 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 go. Go. 
Come on, y'all. Oh, wow, there's a bunch of bandits. Servile cultists? Yeah, these are not takers. Scrag. Darn it. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Ow. Servile cultist missed. He had an 80% chance of hitting whatever he was, whoever he was aiming at. I'm glad he missed. <laughs> let's, um, hmm, let's see. No. Let's do mental magic. Mental barrier? Oh no, that's no good. Actually, we'll do it on Frostfang so he doesn't get charmed. I don't know if they're going to charm any, him, but you know, I don't want him getting killed by Xander or the Battle Alpha. Ugh. So much for Scrag. Come on, Xander, get your butt over here. Oh, jeez, wow. Ow, ow. So much for you. Oh, wow, his loosing got hurt really badly. There we are. Go. Oh, the cultist got tagged pretty good. Pretty well, I guess. Very good. Man, that was a good job. You guys just chill. Okay, what, where are you going? Do you sense someone? Alright, cool. Got some money. Oh, an essence pod. That's always nice. Swamp boots. Plus 5 to armor. Plus 20% poison resistance. Let's see. Let's see. Let's take those. What do we have on? Oh, we have swamp boots already. Well, we'll sell those. Got some money. Oh, a good bit of money. Cloak, robe, bronze sword, healing pods. Thread, a bolt of cloth. Take that. And a dagger. Alright. Come down here. Amphora, sandals, robe, robe, robe. Nope. Four, come down here. Money. Even if only a little bit. Let's see, I think over here. Robe, gold ring, let's take that, and a bronze sword. And up here. Yeah, big deal. Alright, cool. Decent bit of loot. So let's actually save since that was pretty successful. Right here. And let's go. I don't know if there's anybody else here, but there's probably some like swamp rats or maybe a battle alpha. Oh, I saw someone on the map. Oh, geez, a Glock. Oh, good. Punch. Nice. Whoa, jeez, wow. That was kind of <laughs> nerve-wracking. All right. <clears throat> I really like locks. I think they're really cool. They're one of the cooler creations, I think, in Gene Forge. One of the more interesting, unique-looking creatures. Most people think about Vlish when they're talking about what's a cool kind of interesting creature in Gene Forge, and I agree with that. The Volish are pretty cool. But I don't know. There's something about the Glocks. I just really think the Glocks are cool. The way they walk, I don't know. That you know, Those nasty stingers. You find the remains of an ambushed caravan. 
Someone attacked a group of traveling merchants here. Their carts have been smashed, and the valuable goods have been stolen. You search the grounds for signs of where the bandits went, but the ambush took place weeks ago, so you don't find anything. Hmm. I wonder if it was that bunch of bandits that we just put down. Scrag and all that. I mean, it could have been the takers, I suppose, but... I don't know. My guess is it was those bandits. If you're looking for bandit, let's... And you already found some bandits. It probably was those bandits. But even you never know. You never can tell. Good shot. Glocks are usually pretty magic resistant. They are. No, 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 no. What are you doing, Lucian? Lucian, you idiot. What are you doing? <laughs> I think Lucian's gonna die. Why can't you guys hit him? Oh, shit. Thank you. Wow, that sound. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> Jeez. Lucian's trying to punch a Glock. <laughs> Lucian's gonna punch a Glock. Alright. And yeah, just a regular Thorn Baton, not very valuable. At this point in the game. Alrighty. I think we've gotten just about everything here. So let's go down here. And then we'll go out this door. And open this passage up. See where this leads. Pretty cool. Alrighty. There could be more. Baddies. But I don't know. I think those takers were using those alphas to clear out this area and ambush people from Madab, but then the, the the handlers died, and then the alphas went rogue, and then the takers are like, well, what do we do? Crap. All right, this leads to the Northern Pass. Oh, okay, cool. This is, leads into taker land. Now, if you were going to be, I think if you were allying with the takers and you were friendly with them, like you had done that thing with over here at Bellet's Crossing, like I was talking about, you could then cross over into Takerland much right now, much easier. I mean, you can do it anyways, but it's not so easy, if I remember correctly. The other way through is, of course, right here, and that is after you've gone through Barzite Land, which is what we're probably going to have to do. But that's fine. Right now, though, let's go back to Fort Muck. And talk to Hop. And sell those jewels. Hawk, buddy. Got something for ya. Let's sell some gemstones. Very good. Yay, gemstones. Let's see if there's any unfriendly rats. And let's go talk to Squeakers and say hi. Give him some food. Oh, no, that's Squeakers. All right, cool. Hey, Squeakers. We cannot... We're not going to adopt him. He'll just die. I'm sorry. Here. Have a... Have a kebab. There you are. <laughs> All righty. Let's actually go back to town. We have any, yes, we have a gold ring. Hmm. What do we have? Stuff to sell. Let's go up here. One of these merchants up here. And sell that. Oh yeah, we have swamp boots to sell as well. Zion. Okay, that's, she's an alchemist. The good one. She's the good alchemist here. Like the capable one. Here's just a rando al Madab alchemist. Merchant, whatever. Let's sell him this. Swamp boots. Oh, wow, those are valuable. Wow. Alrighty. That's a good dealie. 
All right. Charm. Gold ring. Gold ring's valuable, too. Jeez. Mica band. I don't know if we have one already, so we're not going to sell it yet. All right, cool. Ensnaring crystal. Let's sell those. Since we're not doing that sort of thing, really. Spray crystal. We'll just sell them. If we were increasing our what do you call it, dexterity, or missile weapon dealy, we could use those, because they're valuable and pretty cool, especially if you have a decent hit chance with them. But we are not doing that, so we're not going to. I'm going to buy it. these essence pods. Pretty average prices, since we are, of course, are part of the Awakening now. Alright, cool. I don't need anything. We have a pretty crappy selection. <laughs> Go back up to our little base, our our office. Let's see. Micah Band, yes. Drop that. Very good. All right, cool. We have, okay, we yeah, don't have too much weight left, but good enough for now. All right, that was pretty good, pretty successful. Had some good fights. We lost some claw bugs. That was unfortunate, but you know, yeah, it's gonna happen. I think the enemies are start are, are gonna ramp up again. They have been kind of steady for a bit now, and I think they're gonna ramp up again. Last time they ramped up, we started having trouble until, but we we pulled through. I think we'll pull through again. So I'm going to say thank you for joining me for this episode of my Let's Play of Gene Forge 2. Here on my channel, Ida Wisdom. If, I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough. This is a great game. I recommend playing it yourself. I mean, I think you should play Gene Forge 1 first. Gene Forge 1 is a great game. 1 and 2, though, are just like, I think, peak Gene Forge content. The rest of the games are good as well. But you have to play these two first to really get a sense of where the series is. Some people don't like the later games as much. They like the kind of the, the sort of the even keel, like the, you know, it could go this way, it could go that way storyline in these areas, different factions. And I sort of agree. It's it's really cool. And, you know, in Gene Forge 3, the story starts becoming much more focused. And it's, you know, a little bit less freewheeling our kind of like open this exploration discovery but you know it makes sense the, you know to a certain degree the the period of time where we're doing just exploring and learning is is over the story is moving there is a there is there are potentialities that are activating that are actualizing in the first two episodes and that has to go somewhere you cannot the, the world of the shapers will not endure forever. At least not unchanged and untested. Maybe not at all. We'll see. So yeah, so if you enjoy the... Please let me know. Leave me a comment and let, uh, tell me about what you think of Gene Forge. Take care, y'all.